All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we got Sean P with us. We're going to be talking about Rick Ross versus T.I. Who's the better artist? Get our perspectives on it. Uh, Yeah, we be back. You know what it is. out for us sean what happened man all right i'll tell you the story from the beginning so um and once again thanks guys for having me on your podcast you know check me out on hip-hop roundtable uh reviews on youtube um like share subscribe i'm on there doing music reviews um all day every day but anyway um so i was in this hip-hop group on facebook right and um this guy had a post um, you know, both the, both rappers, the legends, uh, from the two thousands, uh, one of the King, two of the Kings of the South, T.I. versus Ross, Rick Ross, who's the better rapper, right? So everybody's coming in there saying T.I., 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 T.I. And I'm like, all right. I came on and I said, well, I do think T.I. is a better lyricist. But to be honest with you, we're talking a better artist. I think that Ross puts out better music and his music has been better over the years. You know, at first I thought it was T.I., but now I would lean to Ross, right? So he got into this big debate and he basically tried to frame the argument as, well, Ross has only been good over the years because he's had help from uh, Drake, Wayne, Jay Z, and all, and DJ Khaled, and he was propped up there because, you know, he uh, he had all of these features and he was around a lot of people. So he basically tried to say that, you know, Rick Ross was like almost on some like industry plant type shit. Like they they basically made him popular because he was doing features. I was like. Okay, so we did features, so did T.I. <laughs> T.I. did songs with Justin Timberlake, Rihanna. I mean, timeless songs with Justin Timberlake, Rihanna. He worked with the same people you named. He worked with Jay-Z. He worked with um, Lil Wayne. He worked with Jeezy. He worked with all the big wigs in the game. Same people Ross worked with, so what's the difference? And he said, well, T.I. didn't have the industry pushed behind him. I'm like, how was that? <laughs> like, T.I. didn't have no industry push? Mind you that T.I. Uh, founded Meek Mill. He saw Meek Mill at first and gave him the Ross. He found Travis Scott. You know what I mean? He was a big, big influence in Future Start. He's on Future Start. Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea. Um, Young Thug. Young Thug's first big hit. T.I. was on there. You know what I mean? So it's like, I, I was like, where is this guy going with this stuff? And he said, oh, well, well, Ross just got propped up. And, and we just got into it, and, and it got kind of heated. And I was like, well, bro, I mean, you got to name me, you know, what was the hot songs that T.I. put out in the last 10 years? He's been stale for a decade. And that's when he really got mad at me. He said, well, well, Ross, he had all these features, and he had Drake, and he had help. You got better admit to me that Ross had help. I was like, bro, this is going nowhere. So... I'm gonna open the floor to you fellas, right? Overall, who's a better rapper? Who puts out the better music? Because I got my five categories to measure. And in my opinion, I think that Ross now is edging them out. So where y'all y'all stand on this one? Uh all right. A few years ago, I probably would have said T.I. During uh, um, Urban Legend and King, I probably would have said T.I. After Urban Legend, after after King, once he started getting into uh, the 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 uh, 
Tick versus Tip. I mean, um, the one album was dope. It was okay. The uh, the one with the gun on the front. I can't remember the name of that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, I know what you're talking about. I think it was the last man standing. I think that's what it was called. Or something. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think he started making singles and not really good albums then. Yeah. Then he I had songs that. that just to me was terrible. Like the song Eminem was terrible. Touchdown. That was bad. <laughs> yeah. So I'll be honest with you. And it's just, and I, maybe I'm wrong on this, but Rick Ross don't got no corny songs. Not one. <laughs> he got maybe got songs that, that you probably wouldn't listen to. But I can't point out a song where I can say that's corny. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's trash. You know what I'm saying? Even the songs that he did turn up, these niggas can't hold me back. That's still fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and on top of that, if we compare albums, yeah, Rick Ross got better albums than Ti. Hands down, his albums are just. Even if Ti is the better lyricist, and he might have more to say. Rick Ross albums overall are just better to listen to. Like, yeah, they're just, they're just like, they're, they're commercial, but they're like Jay-Z albums to me. You know what I'm saying? They're like, kind of like Jay-Z good albums to me. Like he picked really oh, good yeah. beats and the way he executed some of the songs was great. You know what I'm saying? The like, sound quality is excellent on yes. Rick Ross's albums. Oh my and, God. And, even, so if, even if he says the same things over and over again, it's just to me, it's just the quality of the music is great. It's very, and that's another thing too. Ti wouldn't beat him in no verses. They get washed. I was about to say that. I was okay. about to say that. Yeah. They get washed. I think Rick Ross, outside of Little Wayne, well, if we're gonna say East Coast South, East Coast South, yeah. Rick Ross might be the best on the East Coast South. You know what I'm saying? So I would definitely give that that fight, that argument to Rick Ross right now. And as far as the thing where they say he said, well, he worked with it. I would say T.I. probably worked with more big names than he did. And been doing it for longer, too. Yeah. Because T.I. was around since like 2001. Ross been around since like 06. <laughs> yeah. So he so he 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 definitely worked with more people than him. You know what I'm saying? And, and T.I. name was, at one point, he was, well, he still is, but at one point, he was elite. Like, he was, his name was synonymous. Like, T.I. was big. And I would argue that T.I. name probably is a little, probably a little bit bigger than Rick Ross still. But I don't know if, I can say that T.I. is a better overall artist than Rick Ross. I don't think so. Not now, no. I, I mean, to... lyricist, yeah, rapper, yeah. I don't I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I would say no. I'll give it to Ross, man. Uh, I'm going to give y'all my thought. One second. Hold on. If you, if you can pause yeah. this for one second. All right. Yeah. All right, I'm good. All right, so I'm basically I, I basically agree with y'all. You know, um I was a I when T I first dropped, I, I had I had like his ver his first three first three or four albums. And I used to play them joints to death. I thought T I as far as the South I felt like T.I. definitely was the king. Like, I felt like he was running the South. And I felt like him, I felt like between him, I felt like between him and Jeezy, I felt like they were like neck and neck of like who the South. Like, I didn't yeah. listen to Jeezy. I, 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 didn't, I didn't listen to Jeezy as much as I listened to T.I. because I thought T.I. was dope. Um, yeah. I listened to, I thought Jeezy was dope too, but... I caught myself listening to Jeezy more over the course of time because of, because like lyrical wise, I was just like, you know what I mean? It just was like, I don't know. I just, it just, it just wasn't appealing to me. Like, you know what I mean? Some of the stuff he was saying is like, you know what I mean? Like I was, it's kind of like water. 
watered down type of lyrics, you know what I'm saying, for me. Uh, so, hold on. stop you right there, real quick, before you go any further. Huh? Yeah. I understand what you're saying. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I really, yeah. I'm high on lyrics. Yeah. I know exactly what right. he's saying. I agree Bro. with you. Bro. <laughs> what? Inspiration? Uh, 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 what was that? Thug was it? Uh, uh, one hundred one. Thug music one hundred one. Was it called trap music one hundred one? Yeah, I know what you' about to say, yeah. and you ain't let me finish. You yeah. ain't let me finish. Super flat. Because <laughs> no, 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 no. You ain't. Oh let me finish. my god, yo! I know he. I what? know he ain't got to be super lyrical, but those albums are certified classics. Oh no. I'm not saying but they're not. Jeezy never been about the lyrics, but I yeah. get what he's saying. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah. Just, no, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just putting that out there because yeah. I'm just thinking yeah. about some of those songs on those albums. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. no. I get what you're saying. Because I'm getting to my point with Hypnotized. the Ross thing. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, I know. We ain't never see those. But I caught, yeah, go ahead, bro. I caught myself over the course. Yeah, yeah. I caught myself over the course of time listening to him more as he got deeper into his catalog and and i realized and i realized just exactly what y'all saying he never been about the bars he's always been about like the uh the inspiration because i remember seeing him on the smack dvd that was the first time i seen jeezy on the smack dvd and this dude was going off or I don't know what beat that was he was rapping off of, but he was going off. It was basic bars, but it got straight to the point. And I was like, yeah, this guy, yeah, this guy is the is the block hugger right here. Cause he was uh -huh. he was on point. Getting to my point, what I'm saying is that once Jeezy, once Jeezy kind of faded, and then and then slowly Raw started coming into the picture and started elevating himself. Ross was like it was Ross and Ti for a little bit, but I f I felt like once Ross found his niche, and I never and I don't really think it was so much about the features because they both had features the same they literally worked with the same people so I don't even look at that Pretty as much anything did. yeah yeah they literally worked with the same people they you know they all worked with each other they were in the same circle. But I think what put Ross is Ross over is like his music is easier to listen to. Like that mm. when you hear that when you hear that Maybach when you that joint come on, I'll be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? And and if you really if you really, really, really like uh think about it. Ross's music make you make you feel like you a millionaire, man. <laughs> like his music make you feel <laughs> like that's hundred percent facts. Right. <laughs> Yo, I listen to it. You feel I, rich. I, yeah, he make you feel like you about to you uh -huh. you, you you about to. So that's why that's why I said I kind of connect Jeezy and Ross thing because Jeezy made you want to get on that block and start hugging something. Ross make you want to go and buy up the whole shopping mall and just sit back in the car you know what i'm saying yeah. like this like yeah i'm 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 cruising makes you want to get that money man Biggest exactly boss. exactly and and i think and i think for me that's what that's what puts him over you know what i'm saying because it made it, it made it made you want to feel you it made you want to do something you know what i'm saying with yourself it didn't make you want to sit back and just be lazy. He made you want to do something. I'm not saying Ti don't have songs like that neither. I'm just yeah. saying over the course of time, that's how Ross' music has appealed. And since then, his music has been just like that. That joint that he had with uh with Corset Michelle, uh, and, and what is it called? Ast Astro Music or Astro whatever. Martin whatever. Music. Uh -huh. Oh my God, that's oh, my that's shit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one my fine. song, bro. That's one with Drake. Yeah, yeah. The great, yeah, that's one of the greatest verses ever written. That's like the first mm -hmm. joint they did together. That, nah, um, that Drake verse is crazy. 
Now I hear you. Mm -hmm. See, I, I look at it the same way, and this is the point I was trying to make on the page is that there's no doubt in my mind that T.I. is the better lyricist. I, I would say mm -hmm. that overall. Is it by much? Right. I don't know. But right. T.I. is definitely the better lyricist. And it sounds like kind of counter to what we buy into because all three of us, we're lyrics heads. Like, we love bars. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at one point, T.I. was just unstoppable in the mid to the late 2000s. But mm -hmm. it's weird because, and 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 I'm glad glad you brought up Jeezy too because that's the, that's the third guy in this man. That, that, that's mm -hmm. kind of like that. That's kind of like the cold Kendrick or Drake of that South time, if 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 that right. what was, you know what I mean. So yeah. anyway, so at one point I was like, Ti was kind of that head dude, but it was kind of like towards the end of the 2010s when, um. He started getting into more, like, I want to say conscious type of stuff. And at first I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. But then so many years later, I was like, that probably wasn't the look for him. You know what I mean? He should have stepped more, kept more on, like, the hard, like, kind of ratchet, like, dope boy type shit. You know what I mean? Because no matter what you want to say, Jeezy always been on that until he kind of matured. Ross, mm -hmm. he he kind of was on that, and then he grew into, yeah, I'm this guy that gets that money. This is how you get that money, how you get success, the real, you know, boss up mm -hmm. rap. Like, you're about, I, I want to be about getting enterprises and, and doing all of that. And mm -hmm. I think Jeezy and Ross, even though they weren't lyrical as T.I., they grew more as artists in content wise because of that and mm -hmm. really when you talk it up if we're going to go say if we're going to just want to line up Jeezy and Ross okay literally give to T.I. but if we're talking catalog overall I may have to go edge to Ross even though T.I. got classics but mm -hmm. his his catalog for the last decade been stale, dog. Been so stale. I can't name you the last T.I. album that I listened to more than half the tracks on. So Ross has been consistent even in the last 10 years. Uh, Reese, what was the album, Rather You Than Me? The one with Santorini Grease on there. And um, yeah. what was the one with um, your idols or, or your rivals or something like that? The one with the, with the baby? This on there, that that album's fire, dog. That album's so fire, man. And um, yeah. So I gotta say, catalog. If we're talking straight songs and song making ability, I'm listening to more Ross songs than G than um than Ti songs. Period. You know what I mean? And like, you're right. In a versus, you line them up. I don't care if you're gonna say features or not, because if Ross is gonna get Drake, Wayne, um. Uh, Drake Wayne and, and Jay Z, T.I. could get Justin Timberlake, Rihanna, um, Kanye West. I mean, come on. So it's just about even if we're going to talk features. And I still think Ross would win. Ross would win off solo songs. Yeah, solo songs. You know, so I definitely, definitely say that. And we're talking longevity. Ross has been hotter for longer. You know, Ross is still in the picture. You know what I mean? As far as rap, he just put out an album, Meat Mill, that got some buzz you know what i mean so in the end of the day the only thing i think ti would get over him is probably lyrics and maybe if you want to talk about maybe being a pioneer or um that type of type of impact because he started the dope boy rap and that type of trap music early in the 2000s you know but outside of that nah man i Ross passed him by, bro. I'm sorry. He just does. I'm listening to my Ross playlist. I'm listening to for days on end. But T.I., I'm only going to a few songs, maybe from the 2000s. Sorry. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you can, you can go, you can go, you can go all the way back to Port of Miami up until the Yellow Diamonds, John. All the way up. You can go all the way to the oh. mixtape. 
You can go all the way up. What about the Maybach music? Yeah, Maybach music, music. You can go to. Oh my you god! Can go to the uh, the triple, the triple, triple G's album. You can even oh, go yeah. to that. Like he got so much stuff. Like Rick Ross has so much stuff. And again, I'm not saying that Rick Ross has eight plus stuff, but I'm saying that he has a lot of B plus, A minus stuff. Like a lot of B plus. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. His stuff is a lot of that stuff. The B pluses is like okay, yeah, this song right here. This is this is this is something I could listen to 10, 12 times. Like, like uh, what's the joint with him and Meek Mill? So now I'm a boss. Come on, bro. I'm a boss. That's classic, man. That's they still classic. play that at yeah. basketball. Bro. Like, come on. Yeah, they do. That beat is stupid, retarded. Like, and they and. The thing is, like, he just gives you, like, he gives you that Biggie feel, but just a different version of him. Like, that's how I feel about Rick Ross. I feel Rick Ross gives me that, he gives me that Biggie feel, but just a different version of a Big. You know what I'm saying? Not mm-hmm. to say he's Big, but he gives me that that different version of, of Big. Right. And, I, I, yeah, I feel that, man. Because um, I almost... Think and people say, well, Ross, Ross is good because he props up or his production or his beats carry him or whatever. But it's like in the end of the day, Ross has to choose the songs. That's on the artist to do that. Like I always look at it like, well, Ti could choose the same beats that Ross does and the same type of songs Ross does. I mean, Ti was even on a Maybach music. I think Maybach Music Three or something with Jada Kiss, right? Mm-hmm. So Tia can mm-hmm. choose those songs. Why doesn't he? And why doesn't he have a consistency over time? So it's like I don't get the well the beats because Ross got to pick the beats, right? <laughs> like it's not like no, he's he's forced to use those beats. Like I don't. What I don't get is how people can say that they they have a, had a bigger. He has a bigger push, and it's like these dudes are elite. They're elite. T.I.'s elite. Like, it's not like T.I.'s not some average rapper. He's an elite artist. Like, he's... He went he's bar respected. for bar with Eminem, man. Like, yeah. come on. He's respected. <laughs> come on, he went back for Eminem on the record. He's respected mm-hmm. in the game. Oh, man. He's probably the most recognizable artist outside of Outkast in, in Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. If you say right. T.I., of course, a, T.I. name is synonymous. You're already going to know who he is. So when people say, oh, he got he got a bigger push, no, it's the same. They're both about the same. Yeah. And that, uh, I, f- I also feel what what if if we're talking about pushes and, and edges, I'm going to say I'm going to say this. T.I. also has the alley-oop when it comes to acting, too, because he's been in a, in a few movies. He's. I ain't say he. I ain't say he an A plus. To, I'm saying that he been in a few roles that he has some major. He has some major A plus guys around him. You know what I'm saying? Like wasn't wasn't he on the uh the joint where uh, was it? What movie was they robbing a bank or something like that? Yeah, I forgot that was, the name uh, of that movie. I believe it was Takers. Yeah, yeah, that movie wasn't that bad. And then um, ATL, ATL, he, the hood, hood classic. Yeah, yeah, of, of course. So he was, yeah. On, so I was, was on a TV show before too, I believe. Yeah, and he had con. He got he got a Marvel comic as well. He got a comic. He got. I got. He do. He is on a Marvel movie. I forget the name of yeah. it, but I know you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, he he's on he's on Ant Man, but that's that's not the one Ant- I was yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but. He had, he has an actual comic comic book uh series is just before it dropped just before Stan Lee passed away he got a series done with Stan Lee I forgot the name of it I don't know I, I don't know if he's portraying a hero or whatever because I never read it but I read I read a, a, a article on it like he's coming out with a book and he got a few issues so he got that too so at the end of the day like you know what I'm saying like it's pretty much even, you know what I'm saying? If you if you really look at it, even if you even even if you even if you go off of like Ross got the better music, which we already said that his music is motivating. But if you go off of that part, you know what I mean? He got the Hollywood alley oop. 
You know what I'm saying? So it, I think it kind of evens itself out when it comes to that aspect. You know what I mean? Yeah, Ross so. was in the, Ross was in a couple of movies. But he not, was? Yeah. He was in oh, um, I don't know. What was the name of that movie? He was in he was in uh this this show called uh Magic City. Oh yeah? He was in Magic know that. City. I remember that. Yeah. Um, that was on uh, Stars. For a little bit. Stars, yeah. yeah I, he was I, one I, of the I know yeah. <laughs> I I know he uh I do know Ross is a wrestling fan because he was uh he got some business relations with AEW and you know what I'm saying which a lot of the rappers now are starting to get into the professional wrestling because of Griselda yeah. Griselda Griselda got that wrestling wrestling and hip hop thing on lock yeah so mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. but Ross wins. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I gotta go with Ross, man. I mean, yeah, it's just, yeah. I mean, just over the last ten years, easily, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it is what it is. And he got wing stop too. By the oh way. yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yeah. Got, no wing stop is kind of. See, I got a wing stop. It's made out to be, but that's another topic for another. Yeah, day. wing stop is trash. But, but 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 good luck for Ross though. <laughs> He's making money off of it. <laughs> He's like trash, Ross. <laughs> them lemon pepper, bro. You think no? The Jones is trash. I had wing stop the other okay. night. I took them Jones back. It's it's okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's trash. Anyway, all right, man. Sketch man, we out of here. See y'all, peace, bro. All right.